All right, so mini projector. This is the Kodak Luma 75. This thing is awesome. I got it as a gift because my dad's girlfriend is a big casino gambler and she gets cool things for free. And this was one of them and it is awesome. So first of all, let's look at the size. So this is an iPhone 14 plus and this is the size of the projector. So it's but basically like half the size of a phone, really small, fits in the palm of your hand, and it is super portable. Uh, let's take a closer look at our connections. First is going to be in the back. There is a connection so you could put it on a either a stand or you could even hang it from the ceiling like this if you wanted to. Next is going to be our ports back here. So we have a charge port. It comes with a mini USB charger. It does not come with one of these in the box, at least mine didn't. So you're going to need to have an additional way to plug it into the wall if you plan on plugging it into the wall. And it comes with this super cool mini USB cable. Let's just see how long it is. This is the USB cable, I mean HDMI cable that came in the box. And yeah, it's about this long. It's not the longest. You might want to upgrade and get another HDMI cable depending on how far away you're going to have this projector from what you're connecting it to. All right, so there is a charge. There is the HDMI over here. And then there is also a USB and a audio cable port so this does have a built-in speaker in it but obviously it's really small and you're not going to get the best audio quality out of it maybe if you're doing like a presentation or showing charts or something but if you're watching a movie or if you're playing games you're going to want to connect it either to a sound bar or another uh some high quality speakers all right so this is the lumar 75 so this is on the lower end uh, there'll be a link down below if you want to get it. It is not that expensive, but since it, it is a kind of a beginner projector and it's not that bright, you are going to have some difficulty seeing it in a semi-bright environment. So right now I am in my office, my window is open with the natural light, and uh, I have the lights off. So let's see what this will look like. So to turn it on, there's an on button on the side. And then there are no physical buttons. I don't know if you could see it, but these buttons light up on the top here. And that is how you could control it. So I am going to be projecting this on my wall. So now if you see, we get our USB menu. So keep in mind, if you're planning on using this in a environment where there is some type of light, you're really not going to be able to see it at all. You're going to want to be in kind of more of a pitch black environment. So let me shut my shades. So that is with the shades shut. And there we go. We have our menu. So we could either do images. So if you want to do pictures and stuff like that you can do images or you could do hdmi which most people are going to do uh is the hdmi it does have a micro sd slot so if you wanted to put a micro sd in for pictures you can do that and then it has a kind of wheel thing over here so we could uh focus it so we could bring it in the focus and add a focus like that and then now let's connect our Let's connect it to our iPad. So I use my iPad for DJing and watching movies and stuff. So if you have one of these HDMI adapters for your iPad, there'll be a link down below. You could connect it. You connect it into your iPad. And then we are going to connect our USB into the device. I mean, not USB, HDMI. I don't know why I keep saying that. And there we go, it is plugged in. And we have Shark Tank playing. So obviously, this is in a room with the shades drawn 
uh, during the day. And honestly, it is pretty hard to see what's going on on the screen. Uh, let me see if I can make it a little darker in my room so you guys could see a little bit better. So there is a little bit better. But again, this is the type of projector that you guys are going to be want, are going to want to use in a completely pitch black environment. So at nighttime with the shades drawn and no extra music in the background, uh, no extra light in the background because you can barely see what is going on on the screen. See, we have a music video playing. And there you go. You can see the music video, but honestly, it's not the best quality because this is the, it's not the brightest projector. When you're looking at projectors, you want them to be bright enough so that you could see the, see what you're trying to watch on the screen and not have to worry about being in a completely pitch black environment. So again, let me just turn my light on. Again, this projector it's really cool, it's really portable, it's really awesome, but you are going to need to be in a pitch black environment. So maybe in your living room at night with all the lights off, when there is very little light, you will be able to use this projector and see what's going on. Let's see if you guys can see the light over there. And again, it's really cool, it's really small, it does make a little bit of noise. If you listen, you could hear a little bit of noise coming out of it, but it's really awesome. Really awesome. It's more of like a, more of a cool party trick, more of a cool thing to use once in a while. I would not recommend like recommend using this for business or using it if you're a teacher or something. Cause again, it's just not bright enough and you're not really going to be able to see what's going on. So would I recommend this one? I would if you could get it for a cheap price. I'll leave the link down below. But just keep in mind, this is not going to be your permanent. You're not going to set this up permanently in your living room and use it to watch movies all the time because it's simply not bright enough. Maybe if you're doing presentations or if you are a teacher, you could bring it out once in a while and use it and it will work just fine. But the biggest thing with this, when you're going with a low Luma, I think it's called Luma. Yeah, a low Luma projector, that means that it's not gonna have as much brightness and it's gonna be very hard to see. So overall, it's a cool, sleek design, very small, it works. Uh, it does have a built-in battery. They say it lasts uh, two hours, but I did not get anywhere anywhere near that amount of battery power from it on a full charge. I could barely get through a couple of music videos. So test it out on your own if you get it. But the overall, it's a cool, fun thing to have. So if you want to learn more about what you could do with your iPad, about projectors, subscribe to the channel and give this video a like. Thank